you ready? You ready? We're doing the chi-square distribution, sure. It's not symmetric. Well, if large and large and large values of n, then it gets closer to symmetric. Is it C-H-I? Chi-square? Okay. Fancy. Oh, you fancy, huh? They give it a little fancy x. What's next? The chi-square distribution, like the t-distribution, is different for every different sample size. Our degrees of freedom for our chi-square distribution is n minus 1 when we're finding confidence intervals. The chi-square distribution is used for other things, and the degrees of freedom sometimes change. What do we want to do? Whoa, it's not symmetric, so we're going to have, we're going to have a chi-squared left, and we're going to have a chi-squared right. Right. And that's going to correspond, that's an L right there. That's going to correspond to the areas in the tails, the areas in the tails. So let's look and see how to find, look and see how to find chi left, chi right. I need a number. I need a sample size. What? 16. Okay, 16. And then I need, then I need a confidence level. 95. 95% <laughs> confident? All right. So 95% confident. Sure. So what's the area in each tail? Point zero two five. Because there's point two five in the left tail and point two five in the right tail. Let me make that nice and dark for you. Two five. Point zero two five. Boom. So if we were going to draw a chi-square, I'm drawing right over the chart. I hope I don't need this. What's our degrees of freedom? Yeah, there's 0.25 in this side, and 0.25 in this side. What are our degrees of freedom? So our degrees of freedom is n minus 1, so the degree of freedom, that's n minus 1, so that's 16 minus 1, which is 15, sure. So we're going to use that because that's going to designate which line we're on, so if you're Sasha, you might want to write use a ruler. So our degrees of freedom are 15, so I'm looking just above that. Okay, so I know those numbers are really small and you probably can't see them, but if I'm looking at this one, that's, you're probably looking at the sheet that's in front of you right now. This is point nine nine five zero. This one is point zero nine. And this one is point one. And this one is point oh oh five. Yeah, that's the area to the right of the tail. So what are we looking for? The area in this right tail is point, whoa, that should be 0 0.025, point zero two five. So we need to go and for our chi right, chi right, chi squared right, we need to look at point zero two five, which is 3 from the left, and then you go down, 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 down. Whoa, really? What's Kai right? 27.48. Oh, I thought that was 27,000. It's written so small. <laughs> oh, I was like, that's huge. So Kai right is, what was it? 24 points. 27.27. 24.27? 88.48. 27.488. 488? Yeah. It's 27. 27. 27, not 24? No. Why are you telling me wrong things? Claudia. Wilmer. 27.488. 27.488? Yes. I think I probably just hear wrong things. It's okay. It's Claudia. So that's 27.488. Yeah. 
So now, okay, wait, 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 wait. If that one's point zero two five, what's the, the area? What's the area to the right of that? One minus that, and one more without his calculator. <laughs> Is that right, 9750? Yeah. Yes. If I take 9750 and I add 0.025, do I get one? Because this is a distribution, and the area under a distribution adds up to be 1. So now what are we trying to do? We're trying to get chi. Chi left. Chi left. So we look over here, and we try to find 0.975. That's right here. 0.975. And then you're going to go down to that value right there. Ooh, it's in the sixes, right? Yeah. That's 6.262. Two six two. Yeah. Bam. So we just found chi left, and we just found chi right.